Well, I wonder if you discovered, as I have in these days, that everyone is talking about it, and yet nobody really wants to acknowledge it. Now, that, of course, is the whole matter of death. Every morning when we waken, we're told what the new figures are for ourselves, for the nation, uh, for the world. And it is daunting, isn't it, to be reminded of our mortality. And what a wonder it is that as we come to this time of uh, Easter and of resurrection, to realize what the writer to the Hebrews gives to us when he speaks of Jesus as the one who through death destroyed the one who has the power of death, that is the evil one, and consequently delivers all those who through fear of death were held in a kind of slavery for all of their lives. And you know, I'm unashamed in being able to uh, reinforce what the Bible says, that Jesus is actually the resurrection and the life, and that in Jesus, um, death is made for us uh, a narrow sunlit strip between the goodbyes of yesterday and, and the hellos of tomorrow. And uh, so let me commend to you a consideration of both the claims and the work of the Lord Jesus, especially as we're confronted by death on a daily basis.